Engineering is vital. Engineering changes the world. Society depends on good engineering. Engineering is really important for human development. Society has, has grown where there's been good infrastructure, clean water, reliable energy, transportation. Without engineering, human society cannot develop and cannot be sustained. If you look at real enablers for societies to move on, you can apply that to power, transport, road infrastructure, and all of these things are underpinned at their root by engineering. All the changes all the benefits that we make to the world through relieving poverty, through addressing climate change, through improving communities. This is about making a difference to the world. Engineers design and build just about everything we need for our communities and the economy to develop. And when you look at some of the biggest sustainability challenges we face, whether it's the availability of water or climate change or addressing poverty, actually engineering is absolutely critical and it's at the core of the solutions to those as well. Engineers have to consider um, social economic influences across, across all that they do. It is no good an engineer producing the perfect solution that nobody wants, that doesn't serve any purpose in society. It's really important that engineering isn't just a technical design exercise. If the engineers have a sensitivity to the needs and concerns of communities, that's really important because then we're not having to try and retrofit solutions, we're not having to redesign. It's really important for engineers to have really broad thinking skills. They need to understand the impact of what they do on the environment and indeed the benefits of what they do for economic development. If we're not socially responsible and looking after the future of the planet, who will do it? Education is about creating in the mind the ability to think new things. We have to think really seriously about how we educate engineers. We have to make sure that the educational process includes how you learn about that international, global stuff. Unless you educate that thought process, the students will not have the ability to adapt themselves to that changing world. The world is changing. Technology is changing our everyday lives. We really need more young people that study engineering at the same time understand the global picture. International organizations as United Nations are really looking to find these profiles so they can have the biggest and the best impact in the field. We have graduates and engineers that work for us that can take a bigger view of the social, economic and environmental impacts. It's incredibly important for any employer. Employers today want numerate problem solvers but in addition to that they want systems thinkers, they want multidisciplinary thinking. The better educators will be those that are equipping graduates with those broader skills. We'd all like to see more and more broad thinking engineers coming out of universities. More thinking around the global dimension. We need more broad thinking engineers to solve the great challenges that exist in the world today.